All right, now let's go ahead and start putting our charm together. Um, first, you're going to need to fill your um, vial up with something. In this case, what I did was I put um, the glossy accent glue. So I put the glossy accent glue in here, and I left it out to dry, but you don't even have to wait for it to dry up. Um, what I did was I... Um, on my last one, that the first one that I did, I just filled it and then sealed it. So another thing with um, the the charm, with the vial charm or the drink me charm, um, you, you I already pre um, I don't know what you call. It. I'm not really a jewelry maker, but I already pre wired it and added a loop, so not gonna be exactly perfect. But I decided to go ahead and do it because I didn't want uh, to take the chance where somebody would break their cork in the process and they're only getting one. So I went ahead and did it for you so it'd be easier. And what you're going to need to do with this is you're going to need to take your glossy accents or whatever liquid adhesive you prefer and what you're going to do is seal it up so it doesn't ever open again. So I just put a little bit just around the cork and we're going to seal it up. And then you could just wait for it to dry up. Um, once you put the cork in, you have to commit and you can't take it out anymore because it could break because it's really dry cork. That's why um, I kept it separated um, because if you try to op um, to um, take it off, it'll it might break. So there you go. So you're gonna wait for this to dry and you could just um, wipe off the excess. You get a paper towel. Wipe off the excess. And if you wanted to add um, some color to this, what you could do as well is you can um, use alcohol inks and just dab it around to give it like more in an antique look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one later on. But just because of the the time that we have I'm not going to do it right now but you could definitely add some alcohol ink around this to give it the look and then of course it's only going to take seconds to dry and then I went ahead and gave you two drink me tags because just in case because this is made out of paper just in case you know you mess up or whatever but you're going to need to poke a hole in it you could use your um, hole puncher with the one I think this is like the smallest gauge so you just find the center. If you want, draw a dot or um, draw a dot in the middle to find the middle of it and then punch the hole. And then carefully take it out. There it goes. So I've got my hole on my um, tag and what I'm going to do to it is I am going to first like you could use twine or you could use in this case I used um, just regular um, quilting thread which is a little bit thicker than regular thread so um, what I did is I tied should, should I have this prepared before I started this video Okay, so here's the thread, but you can use whatever size you want. Snip a piece off and tie it around. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I would always double knot it so it never comes off. Okay, 
Okay. And then what you could do to this tag too is distress it a little bit. And I use these sponges and I, what I do is I write the name of the distress ink I use. So this one says H Mahogany. So it doesn't really matter, but I use, I'll just use this one. And I use this to distress the edges of my paper and whatever I'm trying to distress. It works perfect. This is actually used for stencils. And I love it because I could write on it and I know which stamp goes with which sponge. And it's cheap too. And then I'll tie another knot. Just kind of be gentle with it and patient. There you go. There you go. And then you could just snip off the excess. Or actually, I'm going to tie another knot. And there you have it. There's your drink me label with your bottle. All right, so um, that's how you do your bottle and I'll be right back to do the rest of the charm on how to assemble it together.